Let us stick with the issue of HIV AIDS, which, which you've just raised. Why was it that your first decision was to reinstate a law which had been suspended, which allowed the police to pick up, detain, and require forcible HIV AIDS testing on people in your country. A whole host of human rights groups have dismissed that and condemned that as a fundamental challenge to human rights, to human dignity and medical ethics. Okay, see what's going on. What I did, I put the law again on track. I called in the office all the people of the human rights and of all the people of the medical world to discuss the new law. And now we are putting in the parliament a new law that is saying that the police can make these examines because many, many people in Athens are very much worried, but only they have court order. So we think that with this court order, we can respect the human rights of all these people that maybe are infected from the HIV or other diseases, but in the same time, we will protect our population from a real great danger. Minister, let us be blunt and honest about this. It was a populist measure you took which essentially stigmatizes some of the most vulnerable people living in Greece today. It's been condemned by Amnesty International, by Human Rights Watch, by doctors of the world, even by the medical journal The Lancet, as being fundamentally antipathetic yes. to, to medical ethics. No, no, I told you, it's already been changed by a new law that says now that we have to have a um, court order in order to make this examine from the police. Nothing, uh, no, nobody felt that we didn't uh, respect his human rights and uh, these two months nothing really happened. The concerns of all these people you mentioned before, in the real world they didn't have anything to do. But I have to ask you another question. How can we deal with the concerns of all the other people, the majority of the population, that they work there and they live in the center of Athens and they were really very much afraid. So as a minister, I have to respect the human rights of the people that maybe are infected and the vulnerable side of our society, but they have to respect the human rights and all the rest. So what I did, I went to the middle. And now this new law we have already reached, I think it's totally in the right side.